Yo folks and welcome to the channel, my name is Bork. In today's video, we'll be talking about Magi Kami Girl, my first impressions on it, some gameplay, tier list, beginner guides, all that information so you guys can get started. Now, I am playing on JP because this game is only available in Southeast Asia. This button right here is going to be recommended in case you're like, how do I build a team? Kind of does it all for you. In case you guys are sort of wondering, but you can play this game on Nitaku absolutely for free. And just note, I will not be providing links because I don't want to get hit with with like 18 plus and up stuff. So I believe like the JP version is going to be not 18 plus. I have no idea, nothing really weird has happened yet, but I just wanna go over the menu. As you can see here, there's like three different skills. Usually this one is more of like uh, an effect based skill, like it's gonna do like a heal or something. As you can see, I'm like picking one of the characters in order to provide a buff or a heal. And then this one is an AOE, just so you guys can sort of get an idea of how this game sort of flows. What it really looks like to me, heavily inspired by, you know, Persona, the way like the girls have like, or waifus have different angles on the way you want to attack and whatnot. And there's like this bar right here, you can see it's like blue, it'll fill up and this will determine who's going to be going next. So you see her bar is blue and we'll talk about all the different waifus. Currently her name is Akka, I believe, and she is my favorite waifu. We'll go ahead and talk about why. There's like victory screens at the end and you can see there's like three rounds. And just note there is like an auto function in case you're like, oh, I don't want to really pick and choose the skills that you want to use but there's only three skills it's really not that complicated and of course you have like you know times two speed or times three now as far as like the gameplay goes is this game sort of complicated as your standard like attack buffer debuffer and healer there is all sorts of different roles and of course like the enemies that you fight they're kind of generic in the sense that all of the enemy models look sort of the same. So don't expect something groundbreaking on like, hey, is this going to be a gacha game that changes up the scene sort of like the way Genshin impacted? No, it sort of portrays, you know, your standard waifus in a different sort of mind-esque, I don't, I can't say the word. So mind-blowing scenario where trapped in this sort of world, they're trapped in like that little room that you guys saw earlier and they're going through these different scenarios, fighting like these different like nightmare looking girls going through their lives this way. I'm not sure what's going on. I can't really read the story in like Japanese and stuff, but I was playing on the Nintaku version, which was kind of enjoyable. But there you go. That's going to be like some first parts of the gameplay. And these are going to be a different currency. This is going to be your stamina right here. And this is like another thing. I'm not sure what it really does. But overall, I don't find anything really wrong with the game. I kind of like the graphics, the way the characters look. And just so you guys can sort of navigate the, through the things, this is gonna be like the upgrade menu. It's gonna be like your standard sort of thing. These are gonna be like different dresses and dresses essentially go on particular waifus and you can upgrade their dress and essentially, you know, they will gain levels on that particular dress. And you can, you know, have like different like party members in them but just note you can only put like four party members and you can't technically put the waifus on two different party slots. We'll talk about what that looks like in a bit, but just so you guys can get familiar who are the different waifus you can collect. There's Iroha, Kaori, Sarah, Coco, Kisa, Ao, Aka, Lisa, Lily, Hanabi, Marine, and Iko. So these are gonna be like all the different characters, the different elements. There's like five elements, technically three, and then you know, your light and dark, different rarities and all that stuff. There's tanks, attack, guards, and assists. And then here's gonna be like sort of a beginner's guide in case you guys are like, hey, how do we start the game? I'll leave links down in the description. In case you guys were wondering about that tier list, who to reroll for, here's what it essentially looks like. And just note, there's gonna be plenty of different waifus, but the most important part is which dress you essentially get. In case you guys are wondering, you know, hey, can I sort of view like what all these different waifus sort of look like? If you go into this dress section right here and you click the one that looks like a little card right there, you can actually get a view of all the different wife. This is the one that I have. This is Iroha. And there's gonna be a tons of different versions. I'm gonna be very careful on what I click on. YouTube covers me safe for this particular video. And then when it comes to this, I really like the designs, very simplistic. Obviously, there's plenty of different waifus. I want to get to my waifu in particular. I like this looks pretty cool. The one that I just saw earlier, I'm pretty sure I have to edit that one out. And that looks pretty cool. Oh, this is the Steins Gate. I love this anime. That's really cool that they have for her. And then this waifu is pretty cool too. Uh, where's Akka? She has like, there she is. So she has some cool outfits right here. This is my waifu, the one I vibe with the most. Heck 
yeah, absolutely. I'm going to have to edit some of these out. Okay, but she looks absolutely amazing. Overall, I really like this game. In case you guys are like, hey, what are like the different features with it? If you jump back, PvP mode that's at the very top. First couple of enemies that you fight, their NPCs and stuff. So if you get into it, it's going to bring you to this menu and there's a bunch of different NPCs that you have to fight. I tried fighting them. I'm getting like my ass kicked like left and right. But just so you guys can sort of see it, I'm not sure if this is even like PvP, but you know, I'm just starting out the game. As you can see, it's using like that lightning bolt sort of stamina currency. So I'm assuming this is PvP. You know, that little symbol you saw earlier with like the little downward arrow that's yellow and green, that's usually known as like the rookie or newbie sign. But as you can see here, the NPCs, they're no joke. They can definitely kick my butt. And it's a lot of fun, like sort of going through this game and understanding it and sort of like viewing the graphics. There's very particular angles that you can see in order to get very understood or very intimate with your waifu, if you know what I mean. But overall, I can't say this is like a terrible game. I've played worse gacha games and I sort of like the stylistic graphics where, you know, there's different camera angles. The attacks, they don't seem like, you know, too graphically intensive. It seems sort of generic in the sense where it's like, hey, I swing a thing, an element pops up and a thing happens. There's no like anime cutscenes. There's no like over the top sort of deal. They sort of like poke their stick and something happens. But you know, if you're sort of looking for a more chill based like gacha game, like I guess this one's for you. I think the main appeal though, is if you're playing like the 18 plus and up version, so you can see I guess Akka and like Iroha and all the different waifus in a very risque sort of formats or scenes, what have you. But let's go ahead and jump into the fun parts where we can actually talk about, you know, summoning and like the different rates and all this stuff. I think the rates for this game were relatively low. Hopefully I can find them. But if you jump right here into the presence menu, you can claim everything. So just hit like that top button. You get a bunch of different currencies. 5,100 jewels is pretty nice. I think that can only guarantee me one summon. All right, so after I claimed all my stuff, this is going to be the summon buttons right here. So you guys can sort of get a taste of what's going on. I've never summoned in this game, so I have no idea what's going to look. And as you guys noted earlier, UR is like the best sort of summon place. And hmm, I'm not sure. I can't summon on particular ones because I'm guessing like there's premium currencies and stuff. I'm looking for a waifu that sort of like, you know, hits my stride and I'm guessing like these use tickets or something. Uh, what does this do? Just let's just use it just to see what sort of happens. Does this guarantee that I just get this particular character? I like the summon animation on this. It's actually kind of creative, right? There's like this little like little red bubble thing and uh, that's the waifu. Damn, look at them explosions. Super rare. Honestly, I was not expecting like the summons to look like that whatsoever. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, flash of like new character, cool. And then I was like, ah, all right, that was whatever. All right, I have 7,000 currencies, but I can't summon like on any of these banners. Good Lord, let me summon on something. So I can summon on this one, the premier gotcha. And then the rest of them, they're like, heck no. Or no, I can summon on this UR gotcha right here. Anything above it, they're like, no, we want premium currency. Tell me how you feel about that. I I don't like it personally speaking. I'm not sure if I really like this waifu right here. She looks kind of cooler. I don't even know if she's better. And I think this is like the normal like sort of thing. Let's just go ahead and like use these tickets right here. See what happens. Does it provide us? Oh, it does like a little circle thing. Uh, what is like the good like sort of color? I like this. This is kind of cool. This is different. You know, they actually show like the full like sort of in-game sprite of the character and they sort of jump into the scene. They're like, I am the best and I like the attitude. Iroha with her new dress and everything. She looks pretty dope. And yeah, oh, I guess this is like a lolly s looking waifu. I love how they do like different poses and stuff. And obviously there's physics and stuff coming into the game. Yep, yep, very cutesy. Now the faces could do so. Oh, I like this outfit. This is a very good outfit. Yes, let's go. Okay, Akka in more of her school outfit. Very voluptuous. Very, also looks rare to me. That's one thing for sure. And that looks rare as well. I don't know how their ankles sort of do like these certain poses, but they look very uncomfortable to say the least. Let's just go ahead and go with this one. I don't know what I'm gonna get. The cyberpunk banner. Let's see if we get anything cool. We're guaranteed one SR as far as I can tell, and these ones are lightning-y, so maybe there's something cool out of them. All right, we got this outfit before. 
Her ankles look fine in this one. We gotta judge their ankles. Like, look at what they do on some of the poses. All right, that's pretty normal. I guess she shot herself. No, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Wait, what does she do? Okay, see, look at this pose. That looks so uncomfortable. I don't know what you are doing right there. They don't make sense. All right, she she does like normal stuff. Aka, what are you gonna do? I know her name, cause she is the waifu. Yep, she's telling me to shush. No, no, I won't. Oh, that looks, this looks really cool. I like this one. That looks so uncomfortable. Do you need to pee? All right. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Yurha? Okay, she just sort of like raises her fist and like punches the screen. Oh, I like this one. It looks wholesome, you know what I mean? Compared to everything else, but it's only a rare outfit. This one looks like it should be super rare. Yep, I knew it. Look like Aqua from like, you know, other games. Oh, this one looks really cool too. Kind of like a lolly s sort of style waifu. And yeah, that's gonna be it. We have like one more summon. I don't know which one to pick. The cyberpunk one or the premiere gotcha. The cyberpunk one, just because I like saying cyberpunk. So might as well just go all in, see what we're gonna get here. Please give me at least one SSR. That'd be a really cool game. All right, so we only got two SRs. I think like the lightning thing means you get an SR. The other ones, eh, I didn't really get anything. All right, this is cool. Oh, that's one of our super rares. That's not cool. This is a rare. And what's gonna be our other super rare? Uh, Iroha doing your thing. I got all of her outfits already, at least like rare ones. Oh, she looks great. See, that is uncomfortable. You look like you are upset when you're making that pose. Are you gonna do the thing again? Yeah, I guess that's like her pose. Like every waifu has like a certain way they look. She's gonna be like, I need to pee. Yeah, <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then she's gonna like punch her fist. Yep, that's what you do. Oh, this is probably the super rare one and then she's gonna do that. Yeah. All right, I guess that's gonna be like the summons. They all have like certain poses and stuff and the way they do things in Magi Kami Girl. One more thing that I wanted to showcase in case you guys are wondering like is there like a resource farm? Like what's this game all about? How do I go through the game and actually progress? There's gonna be a bunch of things. The game's like, hey, good job for summoning. So you got all these achievements and stuff. Here's gonna be like a daily quest section in case you're wondering, you unlock like all these different areas as you're going. And then, you know, all the different sections that you can jump through in the game. Here's gonna be like different events that you can go in. But yeah, this game is like a fully fledged sort of gotcha game that you can jump into and play and have all like the different funs with your waifus. And overall, I don't think it's terrible, but it's not going to be anything to write home about. And then here, like, you know, all the different things where it's like, hey, you got reward. Yeah, that's going to be Magi Kami Girl. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once you hit 30,000 subs, we're doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day and see you guys in the next one. Oh, I don't have enough money.